You ready to do this? Yeah. Are you nervous? Very. Well, I'm kind of freaking out. There he is. All right. All right. Hey, hey how Cap. you doing? Good to see you. All right. Thanks. Good to see you out there. This is Angel. How you doing? This is Cap. All right. All right. So he's in there? Yeah, he in there. I ain't tell him what for. I just told him y'all would come by and ask some questions. Oh. Oh, you told him? OK. Yeah. Well, you asking about his name being James? Right. I didn't know that. His name, because I call him Jay. Jay. Yeah, so oh. when I had looked in his application and seen that his name was James Reeves. Whoa. So that is his name. OK. Well, let's head on in. That's him over there. You don't know that guy, do you? Mm-mm. Here we go. Hey, man. How you doing? Hello. How are you? Good. Neat. Nice to meet you. Nice to Jay. meet you. Jay. Yeah. Or James. Huh? Jay. Just Jay. Oh, OK. Didn't get a chance to meet you yesterday, but you let us in. Yeah, I saw you yesterday. Did you, did anyone mention what we were doing around here? They said you were looking for somebody. I think there's a chance you may have been talking to our friend Angel. Do you know? Who she is? No. You don't know who she is. No, I do not. She's been talking to someone in Valdasa. She's become very close with him. And he said he worked here. And a couple things sort of point us to you. But your name is James Williams, right? My legal name? Yeah. Yeah, how do y'all know my legal name? The number that Angel's been texting and talking to is registered to James Williams. And Cap confirmed that that's also your name. So I'm pretty sure it's you that Angel's been talking to. OK. Yeah. Right. Yes. OK, so that is you. Yes. So you've been calling yourself Antonio. Yes. I need a break. All right. Uh. I think you can understand why she might be upset. Yes. I can understand. Okay. I'm going to go with Angel. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. OK. Obviously, you're not the guy in the photos. Angel's very invested in this, both yeah. emotionally and financially. Huh. And you have not been honest with her. No, I have not. She, I think, deserves to know what's up. You OK? That's his voice. That's him? Yes. I'm sorry. For him to, like, pretend that he didn't even know you is so stupid. Why? Like, just, why? I'm so sorry. Like, put me through all this for what? I sent you money. Like, I want it back. I want to sit down and get answers of why. Are you ready to go back in and talk to him? Yeah. OK. You're taking money from Angel. That was offered to me. It was never my intention. Well, OK, but she's offered because you've suggested you needed money. I was just telling her what I was going through. I know, but she sent you almost $400. And when she sent it to you, you took it. Yes. We kind of want to sit down so we can get some answers. I think Angel's ready. Can we just set some chairs up? Mm -hmm. So you're from Valdosta? Yeah. How old are you? I'm 34. And are you married? I'm not married. Why then, when we called you on your house phone, did your wife answer? House? I don't have a house. You're not married? Do you live with someone? Nobody living with me, and I'm not married. OK, well, it could have been a weird mix-up. Sometimes these websites aren't perfect. Whose bank account information did you give me? Do you remember sending her to the Verizon store? Yeah, that was my bank account information. But why can't you just pay your bill? I wasn't able to make it to the store that day, honestly. Do you even have a daughter? Yes, I have a daughter. I can show you pictures of her. How many women do you think you've catfished? That's quite a few. More than 10? Yes. More than 40? Yes. More, 100? More than that. More than, wow. More than 100? Yes. Over how many years? 
since I was like 19. That's 15 years. Yes. Wow. Why did you tell me that you love me? Like, are your feelings even real, or were you just saying that? I honestly love you as a person, honestly, but not romantically. Why say it to me? You really led me on to believe like you were somebody like that I could make a future with. It was just basically a game. No, it's not a game for me. Do you feel bad? Yes, I do feel bad. That's hard to believe when you admit that you've been doing this for 15 years to hundreds of women. Like, yeah. it just sounds like you're a con artist. It's never about the money for me. If it's not about the money, then why send a picture of Antonio in the hospital and say, if I don't, if he doesn't get money, he's going to. If you love me, you would send the money. If you love my friend, you would send the money. Those messages I don't remember, honestly, I don't. She remembers. Every story that I told you, I was just telling you what I was going through at that time. And I didn't ask you that money. You offer. You gave her your cash app information. Right. So you are asking for money if you're getting. She asked. For no, like I said, I would have to see because I was going through things that I had to pay for, and you got upset if I couldn't help. I'm a single mother. You know, like I barely have money. I've literally sent you my last ten dollars, and I went without. I honestly don't recall that message that you're talking about. I honestly don't. But the intention is never to scam anyone. But that's not true. Because you've talked to hundreds of people. Are you ready to, like, be real about it? I'm honestly not pretending. I've done some deceiving things, honestly. Which I can't say it back, and I do feel sorry for it. But honestly, it started off as a cover mechanism for me. I hid behind this picture. I was bullied in school because I was always bigger. That was a coping mechanism. I was bullied, but I'm not going to hide behind a picture and treat people the way that I got treated. That's not right. I want to believe that you're using this as a coping mechanism. But like, do you know how we know who you are? It's because you were bragging to someone that worked at the club and saying, like, I've got all these girls, and they're my trophies. That doesn't sound like someone that's going through a hard time. That sounds like you are taking people as trophies. They're not trophies. Did you say that? I've never expressed them as trophies. But I can admit that I have a problem. I honestly want to stop. If you would allow me to be your friend as me, I would love to. I don't think that's possible. You've lost my trust completely. I'm truly sorry, like, honestly, for all of this. Maybe you can start regaining her trust by repaying her. That's like a very specific, clear way that you can repay your debt. Yeah. And I want to believe you that you're ready to, like, finally stop. But you got to be ready now to prove it. Is there anything else that you want to say, or are we? I don't think so. All right. Thank you for talking and, and admitting and coming clean and, and explaining all this. All right, man. See you around. Thank More you, cat fishing. Yeah. Thank you, Cap. Thanks for helping us clear that up. Hey, no problem. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'll be your old child. How do you feel about all that? How is that a coping method? I would believe him if he weren't making out financially. He's the most manipulative catfish you've ever had. What's next for Angel? Working on me, my daughter, and just going to school. No new friends? No. Is that where we're at right now? Yeah, no new friends. We've never had two hopeless hook up. An identical twin. <gasps> Everybody in Hawaii is in on this. <gasps> That's insane. We've never seen anything like this. The catfish sent you the real guy's Facebook page. Come on!